Some state lawmakers want a Middle Tennessee judge impeached over claims that children were wrongfully arrested. Rutherford County Juvenile Judge Donna Davenport has been under scrutiny in a series of reports by Nashville's NPR affiliate and ProPublica. It is because of a filter system in her court. According to documents in a federal lawsuit, the policy mandated that accused children always be arrested and taken into juvenile detention, even though state rules might call for them getting a citation and being released to their parents. New here at 5, State Capitol reporter Gerald Harris hears from concerned lawmakers. It's time for us to take action and have this judge removed. Strong words are coming from lawmakers regarding Judge Donna Scott Davenport, the Rutherford County juvenile judge who regained notoriety regarding her treatment and jailing of young kids. We don't need to see her running in another election. I'm children are at stake. And the joint resolution filed by Nashville Senator Heidi Campbell and Knoxville Representative Gloria Johnson to form a committee, lawmakers say Judge Davenport has violated state law in her oath of office. And it is necessary to commence proceedings for the removal of Donna Scott Davenport from office as juvenile court judge. Citing from at least 2008 until 2017, Judge Davenport oversaw an illegal detention policy that was in use in Rutherford County, resulting in the unlawful detention of children, some of whom had not even been alleged to have committed a delinquent or unruly act. And the fact that uh, the rate of children being jailed in Rutherford County is 48% compared to 5% in the state of Tennessee is worth our efforts. The effort is a rare one to remove a sitting Tennessee judge, but those backing the impeachment effort say what Judge Davenport did was illegal. It's important to remember that those charges were made up, that, that she um, took those kids from that school, cuffed them, and locked them up. In December, a federal judge ruled Rutherford County would have to pay out $6 million to families of children who were illegally arrested and jailed. In Asheville, I'm Gerald Harris. And Gerald did reach out to Judge Davenport and so far has not heard back. In October, MTSU cut ties with Davenport, who had also been teaching at the university over the allegations.